you know? And so I realized, and like, I, I always wanted to be an actor and I always wanted to like continue on that path, but just for like the purpose of getting a degree, um, I, I felt like I needed to sort of learn another skill. And so what I decided to do was uh, technical theater because, you know, the school that I applied to had a great program and I got in and the rest is kind of history and it was fun. I mean, literally, and you were like plucked out from school to come finish your senior year on on a TV show. On East High. On East High. Yeah, it's East High. <laughs> on East High. On <laughs> East High. On on it. Yeah. So what now my you... my college is really East High. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm really like putting away too much. On. Larry, that's good. Kind of fun, right? It's very fall. It is kind of fall. It's a little Halloween, which is boys and girls. Nice are Halloween the is here, so, so you're saying that if I if I wash my hands and the edges will clean up? Yeah, and you, I also give you nail polish remover, so you can take like a Q-tip and like you can like clean up the edges if you want. Or, or if you have a small paintbrush, you can also use the paintbrush too. Oh. But these are mine. I'm not done. I'm gonna do a second coat. But since oh. I'm in a holiday mood, I did like a gold. Somebody just asked, "What's your favorite Mariah Carey song?" I don't really know many Mariah Carey songs. I guess all I want for Christmas is you. Duh. What? That's like, you're like the third person I've heard say, I don't really know Mariah Carey. Just this week. I mean, I know Mariah Carey, but I don't know if I know like many of her songs. What? That makes <laughs> me so sad. And also makes me just Frankie, wonder. We didn't like, all grow up in the 90s. But are my priorities wrong? Like, am I, should I, like, be more interested in, like, life and not, like, pop culture and, like... No. No, so? because then how... No. I, then if you're, if you're more interested in pop culture than... Ha if you're more interested in life than pop culture, how am I ever going to learn about pop culture? You're right. And how will I ever learn about life? Yeah. It's a, it's a give and take. Each other. It's a symbiotic relationship. I love it. Um, I um, would say my favorite Mariah Carey would be Emotion. You call me feeling emotions deeper than I ever knew. Oh, no. Ooh. What other questions do people have? Let me see. I have to click on it. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Frankie starts singing. Larry's like, <laughs> I've heard enough. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Oh, this one's fun. First impressions of each other. <gasps> wow. I actually this. remember our first conversation, Frankie. Me too. We were in the That's So Raven, like, office. Yeah, we were in that room, and we were sitting. So when we first started our show, um, we had this, like, big table read of the first episode for, um, like, all the, like, producers and executives at Disney and, like, Disney Plus, and they were, it was sort of, like, just starting, and, of course, Disney Plus hadn't launched yet, so it was, like, a big deal, and there were a lot of people, probably, like, the presentation was probably for like 50 people. Like it was a lot of people. Yeah. And um, so we had a big rehearsal for it the day before and Frankie and I were seated next to each other for this, like for the whole like pilot episode. Um, Cause they basically had us like all sitting in a row and there were a bunch of like music stands with the script on it. And we would like stand up for our scenes and like sit back down. And um, yeah. And so we just started like talking and I think I don't remember what our first conversation was, but I do remember that like that was our first conversation. I remember I asking if you were out. freaking out because you were cast on like Friday and we were going to start uh, shooting yeah. like, the next, or we were going to be in Salt Lake City the next week. Yeah, and, like, I, had, like, I, thought, I had, had the role for probably about four days. That is crazy. <laughs> and we were like in the That's So Raven like rehearsal room or whatever it was. And like, um, that's crazy. Yeah. That is so I, I think Julia is here. People are saying hi, Julia. Julia. I know she said yeah. hi, dummies. I saw that. Oh, I Thanks, I Julia. Hello. Julia, if you can hear me, can you run down to Taco Bell and just <laughs> grab me a few things? Yeah, can you just do a little run? Just text us a little run. Julia also works for Uber Eats, <laughs> which is not sponsored. Yeah, but I always request time. She, uh, she was <laughs> Stop telling lies. Can you Stop imagine if video. Julia showed up to your house? I, that'd be kind of lit, though. <laughs> She'd be like, order for <laughs> Francisco. Oh, 
I feel like, hello. Well, someone asked, what's your Taco Bell order? My talk. okay, so honestly, <laughs> and this literally changed because we went to Taco Bell the other night for the first time in a while, and I was like, oh, I'll have a shredded chicken burrito. And he was like, we don't offer that anymore. And I was like, well, that's what I've gotten for the last 10 years, so I don't know what you want me to do. So then I just had to, like, I panicked, and I just got these, like, really gross, soggy tacos. Ooh. <laughs> I know. Yesterday, you guys were, like, standing in the parking lot screaming about how upset you were about the uh, shredded chicken burrito. Not yeah, beans. I can't. I don't know. I feel like things are, <laughs> 2020 has just really done a number on me. So. I, mean, like, I don't have a particular, like, okay. Do I, I don't think they're like fully dry where I, if I wash my hands, it won't screw it up. Well, I know, don't do it right now. I just mean like after they dry, when you wash your hands throughout the day, the, like, oh, the I see. Will start they will slowly, they will slowly yeah. start to, um, I see, I see, I understand. Hold on, I want to see. Okay. My friend, let me see, I gotta be clear. Frankie, I got a beefy five-layer burrito and a two Doritos tacos. Don't the Doritos tacos, though, just, like, ruin your stomach, though? I think um, everyone's stomach is different. <laughs> Larry, I think we're all different. <laughs> but you know me, literally, I eat anything, and I'm like, ugh, my stomach hurts. But I think No, but then the problem is, the problem is that your stomach hurts whenever you eat anything and then you judge other people for eating the same thing because <laughs> think that our stomachs are also supposed to hurt <laughs> i think it's because i'm lactose and so like i i just i just eat whatever i want and so i drink like coffee and i eat candy but you don't you're not actually lactose you think you are i think i'm lactose just because you know i never go to a doctor so i could you literally get just that checked out drop right don't they make you like breathe into a thing and then it tells them? <laughs> Did you think all I your allergies? No, I just saw. I thought you were doing the thing where you're like, "Oh, I'm frozen." No, I was actually. Frozen. I was, okay, sorry. Let me try it again. So... <laughs> they look dead. I like you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> what hand are you on? I'm done. You're done. Is that your first cut or second? First, but it's clear. Oh, do I really need two? Yeah. What do we think, you guys? I think they're pretty cute. Larry, now that we're going into the holidays, do you have mm -hmm. a go-to holiday movie? Go-to holiday movie. You know, I had more go-to Halloween movies than Christmas movies. But what also, were the go-to Halloween movies? I don't Did celebrate Christmas, so. Um, I mean, Halloween Town. Love Halloween Town. Hocus Pocus. Focus. All those ones that we watched. We had a few Halloween movie nights. Yeah. And I like I appreciate that you no, actually watched, don't like this pose without scary, scary Yeah, movies. I don't like scary Halloween movies. I, I hate scary movies. I like scary silly movies. Halloween movies. Me and Dara were ready to watch all the horror movies and y'all were too scary. Dara wanted to watch a movie where a man got turned into like a, a what was it? A seal or something? Like an otter? <sighs> It sounded the walrus, the what's it called though? I don't. I was not. I I don't. Was I there? I don't remember this. It wasn't a night. It was just a conversation where she was oh. like, "Do you guys want to watch a movie about a man who turned into a walrus?" It's, no. <laughs> it sounded horrifying. <laughs> it looked horrifying. She showed us a picture. So I didn't look at the picture. I don't want. I don't want to see that stuff. If you can read what they're saying, will you tell me something? I'm, because I'm, oh, oh, it's Tusk. Yes, it's Tusk. Thank Tusk. You. That's the one that she wanted to watch, and we were like. No, we can't. Y'all have seen Tusk? <laughs> like, no, haven't seen that. I uh, miss her. I miss her too. I haven't seen her in like a week. What I know. It? She's been MIA. She's off doing fabulous things. I just spilled a whole bunch of nail polish on my table. Um, oh. Okay, so you don't know this, but I actually tracked how much nail polish was in those bottles. And for the amount of, I get back, I will charge you. Oh, okay, totally. He gets a bill for like five thousand dollars. Oh, yeah, you wait, is that bad? No, no, no. I'm looking at your nails. I'm just, I, yeah. You need a second coat on that one. But I'm not. <laughs> one moment. It's just one it's moment. Just, getting it's some... more noticeable with his nail polish than it is with my clear one. Are we That's literally all. about to fight on Instagram Live? <laughs> Do you guys want to see what a fight looks like? Are you for real? <laughs> Just All right, I just needed to get some paper towels. I've learned how to fight thanks to the Real Housewives of every city. And now there's a Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And, and you're on it. And I will be on it. Don't you worry. 
It's kind of strange to think, though, that they were filming the same time we were filming last year. Yeah, but then it took so long for them to air. I know. They really were Someone like... Someone all caps, fight. Fight, 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 fight. Who's next? I'm not um, going to make a fist because it'll ruin the... This is, this is a difficult process. Yeah. This is, that's why I didn't want to do it. No offense. But it's just, it's just a little messy. Yeah, it is messy, but Joe has clear polish, and he's just like, oh, it's just, it's just too messy. I'm looking at some questions. I want it to be perfect. That's the problem. It can be perfect. You just got to clean it up. You just can get, like, a little paintbrush, or if you dip a Q-tip in um, the nail polish remover, you can go around the edges and clean it up. Okay. Also, Great. we're basically sitting in darkness, so this could not look good in the morning, but I'm going to take my chances. <laughs> You only live once. How long does it take to like really dry? Um, like maybe like five minutes. I mean, it, it also depends on the brand. Some brands are like really like heavy. I see. Ooh, favorite cheesecake. I like that question. My favorite cheesecake from um, the Cheesecake Factory is, oh, I like that you can do that. Can they see that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I yeah, like yeah, yeah. the Oreo Dream Extreme. Mm -hmm. I was um, gonna say Oreo Dream Extreme. Oh my god, we never we never touched base on that pumpkin one that I ordered. Oh, how was that? It was really good, but it I don't it wasn't really like cheesecake. It was more of like a pumpkin. Pie. Oh, but it was but it was but it was cheesecake because it was from the cheesecake factory, so it must have been. Isn't that crazy? There's a factory of just cheesecakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a whole factory. Do you want to do favorite Christmas song? Favorite it looks like Willy Wonka's factory. Um, some of my favorite Christmas songs are actually in our holiday special, and I don't want to ruin it, so I'm not. Oh, gonna say. Should we should we like answer some holiday special questions? Um, I don't know how much we can. Well, we can see what the questions are. More details on Friday. Is that what it is? More details Friday. Well, our, the album comes out on Friday. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was. I knew it was soon. I knew it was soon. I just didn't know that Friday was the twentieth. Yes. I'm also, I want a vinyl. I think that would be so cool. That would be so cool. If anyone has the hookup to make a vinyl. That's when I'll know I'll feel famous. Disney Records, if you're listening to this right now. That would just be so classy, like a holiday special on vinyl. Ah, oh, that'd be so cool. Oh, oh, this works. Okay, I'm cleaning up the edges. This really works. Now I'm actually kind of getting messy. Up I'm overwhelmed by the questions. Can you read them though? Because I um, can't. I have my glasses on. I think the track listing comes out before? No, maybe not. I, I think it sure. does this week. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of great moments. Um, it's really exciting. I hope everyone enjoyed the photos. <sighs> <laughs> wow. Some of these questions are really funny. I'm missing uh, them. I'm missing them. Oh my god, I, I totally messed up this finger. I'm so nervous about messing up my nails. Team mac and cheese or goldfish? How is that a comparison? Although I do yeah, love. Yeah, I, I I think I can ha I think I can be a fan of both mac and cheese and goldfish, right? I think you can put goldfish in mac and cheese. That is an interesting choice. That's not. Let's something do a Broadway good. question since we're all Broadway biddies. What's okay. your favorite Broadway show and which song is your favorite? Ooh. My favorite Broadway show of all time? Oh, that's, oh that's why I messed it up. What, what? Did you touch something? Yeah, I like went to put this in the thing and... That's... Sometimes your nails brush against things that you never realized they brushed against yep. before. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's just like when you have one of those like things on your finger and you like touch it and you're just like, how is that little cut? It caused so much pain. The worst with hand sanitizer. <laughs> um, like I have this little cut and with the hand sanitizer. Yeah, but you like to make it worse. You like to like pick at it. <laughs> just You're just like, let me see how <laughs> oh, much falling. We're okay. What if we just went through the ceiling? <laughs> like we just went through the neighbor's ceiling. <laughs> We're like, hi. Um, favorite Broadway show. I love to say uh, Into the Woods. Into the Woods. Um, even though, <clears throat> you know, 
there are many other shows that I love. Speaking of Into the Woods, I did do a live rendition of I Know Things Now in the original key. It didn't sound good, but I could do it. No, it, it, I actually thought it was great, personally. Thanks, Joe, but you're not casting, so this is a moo point. Did you film it? God, no, my God. Uh, it was you just know, I, a little sing-along. I hate filming myself singing. Um... Okay, that is one of my favorites. Into the Woods is one of my favorites for sure. Um, Have you ever played Jack, Larry? No. I've never Surprised. been in the production of Into the Woods. Isn't that so sad? There's a line about Jack, and she says, it, it's Jack's mother. She said, I'm looking for Jack. Um, oh, he's a redheaded he's boy. He's a carrot-topped head. Yeah, I know. And whenever I play Jack, they change it to lemon-topped head, which... <laughs> Not. He's a lemon top. <laughs> Frankie played Jack too. We don't speak of that production. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you were great. I'm sure oh, you were sure. great. Thank you. I mean, I had a great time. Um, okay, I'm actually done. Um, what's your favorite musical? Wow. My favorite musical, I think, would be um, Hair. Mm. And then my favorite song from it. <laughs> Mm, probably Frank Mills. You know, I love that song. Mm -hmm. I'm in a man named Frank Mills. I like that one. <laughs> it's my favorite. Um, I don't know. I'm really bad. We had, I already said this. I'm really bad with favorites. Just like, I, I, I appreciate things or I don't appreciate things, but I'm very bad at like being like, that's my favorite. I feel that's that way too. I definitely feel that way too. Um, I... Probably the most favorite show that I've seen a production of, like, semi-recently, because <laughs> obviously Broadway's been closed for almost a year at this point, which is sad. But um, I I loved when I saw Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. Mm -hmm. I saw it with the original cast, and it was gorgeous. It's so beautiful. The original Broadway um, or the original off-Broadway? Uh, the original Broadway cast. Yeah, I never saw it off-Broadway, which... Apparently, people say the off-Broadway production was better, but um, but I loved it on Broadway. I thought it was amazing. Um, yeah. That's a good I, one. I just, I have a respect for productions that, like, just, like, think outside the box. I think sometimes even more than, like, good music or, like, a good book. I think sometimes, like, a good production with, like, really good direction and design is, like, even more important. Did you see Beetlejuice? I did see Beetlejuice. I loved it. That show looked amazing. Yeah, it was gorgeous. That was cool. I love the way, like, I love when a house can sink up and down. What'd you say? I'm just saying mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't see it. I don't know that show. Um, it's super, well. It was super fun. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> but I enjoyed myself. I know that song, Dead Mom. I laughed. Dead Mom. <laughs> Dead Mom. I need a little help. Here. Okay, so I'm <laughs> I'm done, but I'm gonna. Oh shit! Oh, so is this glitter that you gave me clear? No, that's gonna have like a pink sheer on it. Oh, okay. I love that somebody just commented, "Dead mom." All right. Someone asked you to sing, Joe. Um, Josh Strobel said to sing, and that's my best friend. <laughs> Trouble. Joe's like, oh, I'm so like, don't ask me to sing. Don't, oh. <laughs> don't ask me to sing, guys. Guys, please. Uh, silly. Uh, I wonder if he's still on here. He like logged in and was like harassing and leave. Um, okay, so I'm gonna add they're, a top they're coat. Messy. I promise I'll clean them up. Larry, those look good though. Oh, Little Shop of Horrors, that's a good one. I do love Little Shop. I love. We I love to play more real bad. One we day. love to do a little um, somewhere that's green in this apartment. Mm. I, do, um, I do my Ellen Green impersonation, and Frankie just does his own. Frankie just does his Frankie. Yeah. I well, Audrey's one of my dream roles. I don't know how that's gonna work, but if there's a producer or director that wants to make that it's work. Funny, we I, can do anything. I work for scale, so I'd be very affordable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. <laughs> okay. Hamilton or Dear Evan Hansen? Ah. I saw that. 
Um, I've never seen Hamilton live, though. I've only seen it on Disney+. Plus. I think, okay, I think that they exist in very different worlds and you can't really compare the two. However, if I had to pick one that I would want to watch more times, it would probably be Hamilton. Mm, I get that. Just because it's, there's like, I don't know, I feel like there's a bazillion yeah, characters. It's, it's exciting and I think Dear Hansen is draining. Yes. Mm, Joe, just drag it. No, no, it's just, it's so like. It's heavy. Oh, gosh. Like at the end of that show, I'm just like. And I need a nap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's so good, no doubt. I mean. I'm still a little bitter against Jeremy Hansen just because, like, I remember, like, you know how you get, like, a $8 Broadway soda? You're like, this was $8 and you spend <laughs> the rest of the first act. Like, I just spent $8 on this Coca-Cola. So that makes you mad at the show? Honestly, it makes me mad at capitalism, I guess, if we're going to be truly <laughs> honest, Joe. But I didn't want to get too political on this, on this Instagram live. I'm actually enjoying myself. <laughs> um, and what, they say? What, is that, what is that thing they say? Drag is always political. Drag is always political. Who's your favorite drag queen? Um, so far. Yeah, I know you haven't made it through them all yet. Well, I... Well, in the moment, I mean, okay, Trixie and Katya will always have a special place in my heart. They really, they really, really do. I get that. Um, be, just because they're, I mean. I they think, vibe well together. And yes, they just and, like they, and they produce content. They are, they are here with the content. And they, I always have something to listen to on Tuesdays when they, like, release their podcast episodes. And they, you know. They have so, a podcast? They have a podcast. It's really funny. Should we have a podcast? What would we even talk about? Um, we would probably talk about this. We would just we would talk about. We review stuff. podcasts. That's what yeah. our podcast is. <laughs> we, <laughs> that's funny. I like that. Somebody said, "When is season two coming out?" Um, you tell me. <laughs> no, you know what I was thinking about, Frankie. What it, you know, like the Office Ladies podcast. Yes, how they I think that in 30 years that's going to be you and me and we're going to like go and we're going to be like High School Musical the musical the series the podcast and we're going to like recap all the episodes and like all the behind the scenes. We'll that would honestly episodes. be so much fun. I wonder, well, I wonder one if I'll be alive in 30 years and two what I'll remember because I have a terrible memory. But and then I yeah. don't have a terrible memory. Like I remember specific things that other people don't remember. And but then I because other people are like I don't remember that. I'm then I think did I just make that up then? So, my, mm -hmm. I don't know. I go through a lot of different levels in a day. Well, you are crazy, so. I'm crazy. I'm surprised. All right, I'm literally almost done. I have three, four, f see, I can't even count. I have three more nails and then I'm done. Um, I hope everyone else has been following along and is as quick as getting these nails done as we are. This, um, hand, this hand's better because I was able to clean it up a little more. What, are you left or right? I'm a righty, so yeah, this was my left hand. It was easier. I'm on, like, I'm not good at a lot of things, but I honestly have gotten pretty good at this. What'd you say? I'm just laughing at the colors that Larry chose. Purple and orange. It's very fun. fun. It's so fall. It's very Halloween. I guess I could have just done black, but that's not fun. No. Although I do like a black every once in a while. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I can't keep it on forever, so... What's been your favorite thing about being back? Um, you guys. Oh, Larry. Yeah. No, I, I think that, um, I think that we, like, we've gone through this thing together. You know what I mean? Like, we went through this, like, pandemic together, and we're always going to remember that, like, we did this together, and you guys and the cast are, like, my now like pandemic circle you know yeah. <laughs> no, i'm i'm you know i'm super grateful to be here in this position and like working and doing our thing and like yeah i think it's gonna be great and i hope and i mean like yeah i feel i i i, I feel so bad sometimes because i know that like i wish that our season could just be like airing. Like I know I see so many things that are like when season two and like I just like I wanna be like 
it's it's I want I want it to be released so bad, but like we're doing our best, you know. Yeah. That's like all we can do. I think we're getting it done as fast as we can. Oh, yeah, safely. But also, guys, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, <laughs> when we say that, like it's so good, it is so good. I think it's gonna be worth the wait. Hi, Marina. Marina, hello. Oh. Marina's my senior buddy from Michigan. Hi. My BFF, I love her so much. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be really good, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Actually, like, I'm like really excited. It's a lot of fun. like it's just so much bigger. Yes, I think we can say that. Like it is just like if season one was here, like season two is like there's just there's so many more characters and there's more storylines and there's more music and there's more like yeah. There's more snacks on set. There's more <laughs> snacks. It's it's a different level, I think. Yeah. What's a typical day on set for you though? Like, do you have any traditions that you do? You know, I think it's different now um, that we, you know, have to like get our tests and all that stuff. We do like a lot of COVID tests and all that stuff. So I, w I find myself getting to set like earlier than I used to get because I want to make sure that I get like settled and that I can get my test and not be rushed and like all that stuff. But um, normally I will get, I always get to set before my call time. So my call time's at like 7.30. I try to get there at least 15 minutes, if not like 20 minutes. Because you're a professional. And then, <laughs> and then I'll try to like, either eat my breakfast or I'll make tea some mornings in my dressing room. And then, um, yeah, and then we do our hair and makeup and sometimes I'll listen to a podcast while I do that Ooh. or um, or I'll just chill. So, like sometimes I don't even like to listen to music. Sometimes I'm just like- What podcast you know? do you listen to? Um, well, I so there's a Trixie and Katya podcast, which okay. I really like. And then there's a really funny podcast called My Brother, My Brother and Me, which actually Andrew Feldman showed me. And it's really silly. And it's like these three brothers and they turn everything into a bit. So like they'll, they'll just like have a conversation and then they'll be like, okay, so, you know, we're in a nail salon. And that, like, so say they're like painting their nails and they're having a conversation. Like they'll turn it into like a whole bit of like, oh, I'm the nail salon owner and you're the like, customer and then they like do all these little like skits and they like just blow everything out of proportion and like <laughs> turn it this like hour long sort of like skit it's kind of like improv almost um and it's so silly and um those are the ones i've been listening to right now oh and the obvious ladies which i was just talking about sometimes that one's just like you, a fun one to put on do you watch but, along with the office ladies like do you watch the office and then listen to it or you just listen well i've seen it all i've seen the whole show so like i i usually will just remember you know because they go in order so so like a lot of times i'll listen to it and as they're talking about like a moment i'll be like oh yeah i remember that or whatever mm -hmm. um yeah i love the office Frankie, are you going to get any more cardboard cutouts? Okay, I don't know if I've said this publicly, but I did say for every season that we get, mm -hmm. I will get one cardboard. I will add another person from the original yes. franchise. So yes. right now I just have Zach and Ashley. Right. And then I'll let you, you guys voted for Ashley, and I'll let you guys vote again to see who the next person will be. Okay. I'm Hopefully. here for it. I'm hoping but for the a Ashley Jarvis is or scary. Kelly. The Ashley is scary because you will sometimes leave because the Ashley is in his in his dressing room in the corner and sometimes Frankie leaves his door open and the lights are off and then you walk past the room and there's this like Ashley looking at you as you walk down the hallway and it's so scary. She's, she's it does here. look a little more lifelike than usual. I do need to put a mask on her though. Yes. <laughs> she cannot be unmasked in our dressing rooms. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see it. I'm done. <gasps> Ooh, they look like ornaments. Joe, Ooh. what's yours? Um, I'm so sorry to disappoint you guys with my clear nails. All right, well, then you don't get to do the runway. Oh, oh. Ta -ta. oh. Yes, 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 yes. Death drop. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, maybe like they're not dry completely yet. Frankie, oh, Joe, and Larry, can I get a happy birthday, even though my birthday was in August? Um, so we'll wish you an early happy birthday. Yeah, early. August 2021. Happy Yay, birthday. Yay, happy birthday. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Maggie Carucci is my friend from college and she said I won. Uh, you so did win. Hi, Chica. Stephanie said cuties. She said go off. Shantae, you all stay. Joe, we love it. Of course, Joe's army of people will love what whatever you, he does. I have no army of people. <laughs> Joe can do no wrong. If if okay, here's a question. If if we were to lip sync for our lives, which one of us would sashay away? Um What's the song? <laughs> Is it the three um, of us or just who? I don't know. I guess it would have to be two of us. I guess it would have to be me and, me and Frankie. No, because usually they pull it like the last not I don't know if it was last season, but the season before, they did that thing where he was like all six of you will have to lip sync for your life. And it was just like a hazard. Like it was a safety <laughs> hazard. <laughs> um, Hi, Trey. Yeah, My sweater says sweet. Thank you. Sweetener. Thank it's, you. It's, sweet, the, sweet, it's from sweet, her sweetener, sweetener slash thank you next tour. Uh, sweet next. Um, somebody said, Frankie, can you sing at my wedding? Um, the second you get a fiance, <laughs> we'll talk. <laughs> are you guys together well we're sitting next to each other uh joe <laughs> army i'm from chile hi larry we have a question are you jewish please of answer. course i'm jewish <sighs> of course i feel like i have posts on my instagram about being jewish <sighs> you just gotta do some digging um, do you have any Jewish holidays coming up? Hanukkah? Or like not uh not holidays, traditions. Just Hanukkah is coming. Are you gonna do anything? I mean, maybe me and Julia will like open presents separately from all of you non Jews. From all of you normals. Why why? I love presents. <laughs> well, I'll get you a Christmas present. Aww. But Hanukkah's before Christmas. Someone said, what's your favorite moment slash line from season one? Oof. Um, uh, a lot of favorite moments. Joe's like, I had so many lines. It's really hard to go through <laughs> and figure out which one. No, uh, I mean, so many moments that I love. You know what we should do? You know what we should do? We should say our favorite moments of each other. So, like, I'll say Frankie. <gasps> okay. You say Joe, and Joe will say me. Okay. Okay. Um... I already know. But I have to think. Okay, I'll say for you. My favorite moment is whenever <laughs> you are having trouble reading the stage directions and you're like, did I just join a cult? <laughs> or, or you're like, I will never do this again. Or, or I And then I do it cult. again. I say, I will never <laughs> do it again. And then I do it for eight more episodes. And yes. another season. That um, is a funny talking head because it's just so... It's I, like, that day was fun though because I remember you did one by yourself where we were all in the back and they were like just play theater games and so yeah. it's just us like there was also like, there was also a version of that talking head I guess I can say this now there was a version of that talking head where I didn't say anything but I just held up a sign that said help <laughs> <laughs> um, but did I join a cult is pretty iconic so I'm it's glad that, that was that um Frankie I I mean I'll always love Forest of Boys I think that was like that was a funny really just like oh such a funny little scene oh okay no 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 you know what my actual favorite is of Frankie in season one is the basketballs in like episode four I think it is when they're all like doing the the basketballs and you're like the basketball choreography you're, like, oh, hurricanes yes. come and go or whatever <laughs> like dance <Yes>. forever <laughs> and then uh, yeah and the basketballs and you're like uh what was the thing that they had you say? It was like, feel the rhythm. <laughs> I forgot. That was all. Yeah, it was funny. Um, let me see. Joe, 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 Joe. Mm. It's not that much. That she's I guess stick to the status quo is pretty iconic. Oh, but my favorite moment is during when we're all in this together after you bow, you go. <laughs> I'm like, who are you waving to? The family. The audience. I think I think my favorite sub line in season one is um <laughs> I think my favorite sub line is um uh you'll be like the the glitter with the hamster. 
And then she's like, well, he, uh, it's glitter, it's glitter lip balm. And you're like, well, then you'll be able to find him more easily if he smiles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, is that a garage door opener? No, Sam. Um, all right. Well, this all was right. a successful, I would say, session. They look good. I'm getting better at this. We I'm going to just do it for my display, you don't We had no it. technical difficulties. Um, this was so fun. This was good. I'm proud of you guys. I, I'm, I'm lame. I, next time I will do a color. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... But yeah, thanks for joining us, Larry. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Yeah, I know. You I should make a, you should one. make a series out of this, a YouTube series. Oh, uh, I would, but I, I do always forget how fun these things are. Um, really? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows what's on the horizon? <laughs> we'll see. Um, but we love you and um, enjoy your nails. Love and, you. Um, Try to keep it on for a for a little bit, so you can. I'll probably just, keep it on like till tomorrow. Yeah, just feel the fantasy, just yeah, like yeah. and just like make sure everything's like over dramatic. Like, <gasps> oh, oh, I gotta watch TV. Yeah. Let me. <laughs> it's like, oh, I gotta call. I gotta call my agent. Oh, <laughs> I'm just texting on my phone, and my thumbs are just this. Okay, but yours color. are boring. No. Okay. I love everyone, and I'll do it on Twitter so you can post your photo and show me what um, all of you guys did. Oh so, my God, love, Larry. Guys. love you, Larry. We'll see you love later. You love all of you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.